Hello and welcome to Brumbies TV, where we discuss all the latest news and views of Super Rugby. I'm Brittany Bloomer. Now this week we caught up with Brumbies co-captain Stephen Moore and Scott Barty and Sam Carter joined us on the couch. Tonight on Brumbies TV, we catch up with Brumbies and Wallaby stars Scott Fardy and Sam Carter to preview the Super Rugby season. Scott Seo takes us behind the scenes at the Brumbies pre-season trial match in Wagga and we preview tomorrow night's season opener against the Hurricanes. We are here at Brumbies HQ catching up with Brumbies co-captain Stephen Moore who tomorrow night runs out in his 150th Super Rugby match. Steve, obviously a huge honour. Yeah, it is, mate. I never thought I'd play that many games, but uh, in the same breath, I, I think it's more focus on the team uh, tomorrow night. I haven't thought too much about the personal stuff, so I just want us to, to start the season well. And when you started your career out, did you ever think that 150 games would be something that you'd achieve? No, definitely not. I don't think anyone probably thinks that. No, I think you just want an opportunity when you start off. I was you know, 20 years old when I played my first Super Rugby game, so I've been very lucky to, to get so many opportunities and I'm still enjoying it a lot. That'll continue this year. And ahead of your 150, if you did play in the Brumbies trial against the Reds, scored a try. How was it to, I guess, blow the cobwebs out? Yeah, it was good, mate. It was good to get going again after, I think we had about three months off. So after the World Cup, it was good to get back out and pull the boots on again and be out there with the boys. So, uh, you know, we had a good result up there and give us some momentum and some confidence going into tomorrow night. But, you know, this is, this is the real test now when the season starts. Well, we'll come back to that in a sec. But before we do, let's have a look at how the Brumbies have fared over the pre-season. In the first trial match of 2016, the Brumbies took on old foes the Waratahs in Wagga Wagga. In front of more than 7,000 fans, it was Josh Manray who opened the Brumbies scoring by following the rolling ball over the line. A few minutes later, the Tars opened their account. A drop ball at the back for the Brumbies was scooped up by Zach Guilford, who linked with league convert Reese Robinson, who passed to Dave Horwitz for a try in the corner. With the scores locked at five apiece, the Brumbies regained the lead when a strong run from number eight Itavea led to prop Alan Alalatoa crashing over next to the posts. Playing in his first match for the Brumbies, Michael Wells strolled through to extend the lead to 17-7 early in the second half. As the game wore on, the Brumbies made wholesale changes and the Tars fought back. Late tries to recruits Bryce Hegarty and Angus Tayavo, snatching a 21-17 victory for the New South Wales outfit. In the Brumbies' second trial of 2016 at Ballymore, the side welcomed back their international stars. And it was co-captain Stephen Moore who started his year well, scoring from the back of a mall. The Brumbies' Argentine scrum half import Thomas Cabelli has showed his creative flair over the pre-season and he secured his first points for the club after throwing a dummy and diving over right next to the posts. The Brumbies scored more tries through Itavea, Tavita Kuradrani and Robbie Abel to seal a comfortable 31-18 win. As you can see, some mixed results there for the Brumbies over the pre-season, but Stephen, heading into tomorrow night, what are you expecting from the Hurricanes? Yeah, I think they were the finalists last year, weren't they? So they lost the final at home last year, so no doubt they're going to want to go one better. Uh, they've lost a few players, but as we know with all the Kiwi teams, they, they've certainly got a lot of depth and, and I'm sure they'll put a good team out there. We know they'll obviously attack, counter-attack will be very strong, so our you know, kick chase is going to be really important and making sure we keep our line in defence. That's going to be really important, I think, tomorrow night. They got the wood on us over there in Wellington at the end of last season, as you were just saying, hoping to get a bit of revenge at home tomorrow night? Oh, look, I don't think it's revenge. I think that's last year. That's dead and buried. It's a new season for us, new opportunity. And um, I think the start of our season is really important. We've got a pretty tough run first up and um, you know, we want to make the most of it. Well, Stephen Moore playing his 150th Super Rugby match tomorrow night for the Brumbies against the Hurricanes at GIO Stadium. Now, Stephen's teammate Scotty Seo has come on board with Brumbies TV this year and here's what he's been up to over the pre-season. Hi guys, uh, here with Scott Seal with uh, Brumbies TV just after the game here in Wagga. I've got um, one of our local boys, uh, local Canberran, Jordan Jackson Hope here. He just made his debut for the Brumbies uh, today. Um, talk us through it, mate. How was it? Yeah, uh, it was pretty fast, pretty physical, but um, yeah, 
everything I hoped it would be, and I was yeah, very happy with it. Yeah, I'm sure you, uh, your family would be pretty proud out there, you know, and uh, how was it here in Wagga? You enjoy the atmosphere, the crowd? Yeah, 100%. It's probably the, the biggest crowd I've ever played in front of before, so it was a really good experience and very vocal, so... Yeah, really enjoyed every minute of it. I've got uh, Michael Wells with me. He had his first hit out for the Brumbies today. Uh, how was it, mate? Fast. A uh, bit disappointing with the result, but a good experience and nice to start with a bit of game time to get used to it all. It was really good. I um, really enjoyed the experience, get running out with the um, Brumbies jersey for the first time, so yeah, really enjoyed it. Pulling on alongside guys that I've looked up to since I was like 10 years old and all that. Like, it was an amazing experience and just really drives my hunger to hopefully do it. I've got Robbie Coleman here, one of my Gerald boys and my roommate at the moment. Uh, Robbie, back here in Wagga, second time round. Um, how are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, thanks for having me, Rumi. It's um, it's lovely, great atmosphere. I think um, they've smashed the crowd from last year, and I think they're getting their money's worth with the footy being played. I've got um, one of our fans out here. What's your name, mate? Toby. Toby, nice to meet you. Where are you from? Uh, Tumut, mate. Tumut. Tumut. Oh, nice. How far is that from here? Not too uh, far? No, only about 100 k's. Oh, awesome. Yeah, how are you enjoying the game so far? Fantastic. Bought the family and they're loving it. Yeah, that's awesome. That's what we're about, mate. Uh, come down to a few of the Brumbies games this year? Yeah, certainly will. It's not too far from Tumut down to Canberra, so we will get there for sure. Awesome, awesome. You got a favourite player? Oh, he's, out he's, there? Yep, certainly do. He's, he's a young fella, Jack. Absolutely loves him. Yeah, you got a message for the boys out there, mate? Um, just keep pushing and keep trying your best. That's it, guys. You heard it here first. Keep pushing, keep trying your best. Motto for 2016. Thanks, guys, for your time. Really appreciate it. No problem at all. Thanks, mate. Got a few keen fans here watching the game. What's your name, boys? Uh, I'm Hamish. Liam. Liam. I've got Hamish and Liam here. Who are you going for tonight, boys? Brumbies. Yeah, nice. Brumbies. You got any message for the boys? Um. Go Brumbies. Go Brumbies. Go to Brumbies. Yeah, that's it, guys. Go to the Brumbies. Thanks for our fans here in Wagga. Nice to meet you, boys. Uh, I'm not. I'm not 100% sure of how many I got total, but um, I was, it was in the vicinity of about a, about 100, I think. So. I think that was from the whole test season, not just the World Cup, but it's tough. David Pocock was, uh, was, was in there. I think he's going to do the next time I cut myself, I think he's going to stitch me up. I came in a bit late. I was about a week and a half, two weeks later uh, after my short stint in Bordeaux. But when I came in, uh, the team had so much momentum that I just I got swept up in it and I felt a part of it because I'd been training with the squad previous to the World Cup. So coming back in was an easy transition for me. Yeah, no, I did a pretty good job on my knee in uh, late May and then it was kind of a rush to be ready in time for the selection, but uh, I, I think I, I was available the week after they got selected and the squad was announced, but I still got to tour to America with the team, which was an awesome experience as well. I was uh, yeah, early on in the week and I uh, got the got the nod to that I was going to get the start, so um, I knew I was going to debut. So uh, you know, just going through the process of um, you know letting my parents know and you know all my family members. So um, yeah, it was very exciting, and and then uh, it came down to it. They all they all flew down for the game, and it was uh, you know round one against the Reds, and um, you know we ended up getting uh, having a big win as well. So yeah, it was uh, very emotional. I knew it was going to be uh, physical, fast, and all those things. And you know, I was blowing pretty heavily in the first five minutes, and that uh, no, was good. I enjoyed it. it, was, it was, I'll never forget it. Yeah, it's awesome. In that qualifying semi um, over in Cape Town, um, you know, that was a big crowd. It was very vocal, and um, yeah, I was just hanging out there on the left edge um, with Locke pairing at the time, Blake Enover, and you know, it was. We put some uh, through the hands and the ball went wide to Joey and Joey scored in the corner and um, yeah, I'll never forget that moment, it was a good try. And... Consistent um, and yeah, up my minutes, um, you know, I'm probably averaging around 50, 55 to 60 minutes, you know, so um, 
you know, I'd like to, you know, get a few more, uh, maybe, you know, 70 minutes and, and just be consistent, you know, whether it's at uh, line out scrum or, or just around the park. Um, yeah, that, that'll be a big thing for me, consistency in 2016. First and foremost goal is to beat the Hurricanes round one. I mean, that's what we've been looking at since last season. Uh, once we build build into that game, then it's win our next game. And then ultimately, if we keep putting the performances on the park, we'll get the result at the end of the year. As Sam said, you know, your first goal, you just got to win the next contest you're in. So and our, our contest is the Hurricanes tomorrow night and then onward from there and looking looking forward to our next opponent. And then we, we move on from week to week. And um, yeah, there's nothing nothing more to it really, just to win the next contest you're in. We've, we've tinkered with our game a bit and um, Obviously, they got a, got on top of us last time uh, we we came together in in Wellington there, in in the semi final. So um, boys have been waiting for this game for for quite a long time, and uh, we're looking forward to to running out in front of a, a big Canberra crowd. They're still going to be dangerous across the park. Um, obviously, they went had a fantastic season last year, and we uh, we as Fad says we've changed up some things during the off season. And if we know if we play to our strengths and if we play to 100%, we can definitely get the result we're looking for. As we take a quick look at the history between the Brumbies and Hurricanes, head-to-head -head, the two sides have played 21 times with the Brumbies recording 12 victories, the Hurricanes 9. The last time the two sides met was in the 2015 semi-finals with the Hurricanes winning 29-9 in Wellington. At GAO Stadium, the two sides have played 11 times, the Brumbies recording 7 wins while the Hurricanes have racked up 4 victories. The key matchup of the night will see the two fly halves go head to head. Christian Leliafano taking on Bowden Barrett. Taking a look at the other matches this weekend, and it is the Blues at home to the Highlanders in the season opener in Auckland before the Brumbies take on the Hurricanes. The new look Argentinian outfit take on the Cheetahs in Bloemfontein, while the Japanese new side, the Sunwolves, are at home to the Lions. In the Australian Conference, the Waratahs host the Reds, while the Western Force are at home to the Melbourne Rebels. Taking a look at the early morning Sunday matches and it is the Kings taking on the Sharks in South Africa while the Stormers host the Bulls. L I L L I A F N O. Sorry. Uh, surname? Yep. Uh, Lalifano. It's good? Can you spell it? Uh, yes. L. Um. No. Uh, yeah, no chance. Give it a crack. L. That's about it. <laughs> e. No. Give it a crack. L. E. A. A. L. E. A. L. L. I. F. A. N. O. Oh. And. What a A. N O. Close. Close. I never want a yeah, and I. L E A L double I F A N O. Perfect. I think it changes good sometimes, and I think in this circumstance it's been a, a good thing. I think um, everyone was excited about it, everyone was pretty um, enthusiastic about something a little bit different, and um, hopefully that's reflected in the, in the way we play as well. And um, you know, keeping the way we, the Brumbies usually play, that kind of strong nose kind of characteristic, but then you know, something a little bit different as well. And I think that's going to hopefully be reflected in the new in the new kit. Yeah. I've been here for two years, and the playing strip hasn't hasn't changed. So, you know, to be able to um, you know run run out there with a whole different colour, you know, it's a huge privilege. And um, you know, so I think I think what you said in terms of creating that new goal as, as you know, like the future generation. I wouldn't say that it necessarily has, has an effect in, in that way, but um, I feel like, you know, if anything, we're still going to go out there and continue the Brummie name, um, you know, continue our Brummie structure, and uh, just being able to run, run out there with different colours is going to be a huge honour in itself. I really like the colour too. You know, they say that the darker the colour, the skinnier you look. So for us, again, as profs, you know, going to enjoy going out there and looking good. So.